Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. And today, sometimes code is just so difficult. Okay, so I mentioned before how I am coding a client application. We have several projects on, but one of them is a game, and I thought, you know, I'd like to do this one myself, have a little bit more control over it, and it's been a while since I've really coded anything, and to be honest with you, I've really been enjoying it, getting into that zen state, putting the headphones on at night, and just coding away, like re-rendering, reloading, reloading, and, um, and I've, just, I've just been enjoying it. Everything's been going really well. It's like dusting off the skills that may have gotten a little bit rusty over the last few months so really enjoyed it but one of the things the client had asked for was they want to integrate with game center on ios and google play game services on android right normal stuff i've done it before but still i spent about two days this week two days i can't even believe i'm saying it two days with errors trying to connect to google play game services right it was like and I was rechecking the code, rechecking, rechecking. And anytime you have to deal with another system, it could get really complicated. And sometimes, to me, it just seems overly complicated. So basically, I was, you know, when the score comes up, and I've got, you know, have all the test harnesses, the score comes up, it submits to the leaderboard, and I was getting an error back. I was getting a, a, an internal service server error from from Google Play, and I was just like, what can that mean? Error message, error number eight, which. As I start Googling it, I end up on Stack Overflow. And if ever you're on Stack Overflow, like the fourth thread down, you know that you're in trouble because like that's when people start just throwing stuff out there. Maybe you should delete it. Maybe you should delete it and start again. Maybe you should delete the, the application and try again. And I was just, I was going through everything and I couldn't figure out what it was. And it was like the kind of situation where you're like, it was, at first it was fine. I'm like, okay, well, I wonder what the issue is here. And I was, but then after like a day, after two days, and the client saying, what's going on? I was getting really frustrated. It was like, and and it was getting hotter in the office. I'm just getting really frustrated with it. And I'm, so I'm like trying to, rec so I'm compiling the application in debug mode. And then I'm thinking maybe it has to have a signed certificate, even though I can't find anything that, that proof, but let me try that. So I'm, I'm sorry, signing the application. Let me put it through Google Play. Let me just deploy it. I'll deploy it silently. So I like deploy it and do that. And, then, and every time I'm adding another step, the feedback loop gets slower and slower. So you're like, you have a theory, you spend an hour testing it and find out it's not that. And it can be super, super frustrating. But I got it working. In the end, there was a, you know, there's a Google Play game. So I'm just going to say this really quick because it's not that interesting. There's Google Play game services and then it's associated with a Google project uh, API. And for some reason, the fingerprint fingerprint of the connected application was different than the one that I had set up and it should have just automatically gone through. And once I found that, then I fixed it and everything worked again. And then it was like everything took off again. But that can be frustrating, especially when you're working with other systems and you don't know the feedback they're getting back. The other thing the client wants is to integrate with Facebook. And I know from the past that that has always been difficult for me because Facebook, the graph API is always changing. They always need those, you know, they always need the signing and the approvals and all that stuff, but that's the next step. But anyway, the reason I'm bringing this up is because sometimes those kind of struggles are what developers have to go through. Every software developer I've ever known has had those kind of issues where they spend a ridiculous amount of time trying to discover something, and then the next time they do it, it's easy. The next time I have to connect to this thing, it's going to be easy. The next time I have this issue, it's going to be easy. I can remember trying to compile my first iOS app or to release it, and I thought the iOS deployment process or the App Store deployment process was so ridiculously complicated. All the different certificates, all the different things you had to do, all the different steps. But in the end, I learned it. I learned it in possibly a painful way because as a process changes you, you read in a tutorial that might be two years old which is already out of date but once you go through it it's easy and now i could deploy an ios app in minutes and i get emails from people all the time saying eric can you help me with this ios app because this thing is driving me crazy i can't figure out how to get this on the app store but those are just the steps you have to go through the reason i'm bringing this up first of all is a little bit out of frustration because it feels like i didn't get very much done this week because of this but in the end there was this huge sense of accomplishment to do something to get something done which should have been a five minute job at best anyway 
but sometimes these things happen and that's how you made a better developer i think every every good developer i've ever known has had that in their past and that's why they're so badass now right it's because they have those struggles they have those things it's not as easy as just going through and googling it and having the the answer come up to you because sometimes it's just more rare than that and i have no idea why the fingerprint changed on that one and another but that's that's for another time anyway my question to you guys is Tell me about a time when you spent days on something which should have taken an hour or minutes to do. Because I think we've all been in that situation and it could be nothing more frustrating. You know what the most frustrating thing is? Is that you don't know if you're ever gonna solve it. That's the thing. I was like this close to calling up the client and saying, hey look, you can't have leaderboards. <laughs> you can't have leaderboards in this application. I can't give you a good, a good reason why, because I have no idea why, but you're just not gonna have them. I was this close to telling them, like it just can't be done, and then, and then logic would click in and say, of course it could be done. Like it's just, there's something wrong. There's something you have to sort out here. And then you'd calm down, come back to the computer. But I tell you what, this laptop nearly went out the window a couple times. So tell me about a time where you've had a situation like that, because I think we all have. And if you've never had that kind of situation where you've, where, and everything always works for you the first time, tell me about that too, right? I won't believe you, but tell me about it. Anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again next time.